guys, I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I was sleeping like a rock because this bed is super comfortable and this whole suite is like a dark cocoon. I'm gonna go get ready and we'll just see where the day goes. What is, what's going on, what's going on? Anyways, let's head to the living room. Alexa, turn on the lights. Alexa, open the curtains. That kind of gives me the willies looking down at that pool. <laughs> like, you feel like you're gonna fall in. But I'm staying at Encore Suites, which is the enantiomer of the wind. I wonder what that pod is they're building over there. There's a golf course. You see the pool over there at the wind. There we have Treasure Island. Have I ever been in Treasure Island? I think I've seen a show on Treasure Island. The Mirage, the Venetian. Oh, you know what we need to do? It wouldn't be a trip to Las Vegas without going and seeing the fountains at the Bellagio. So we've definitely got to do that today. Otherwise, I will have failed you guys if we don't go check out the fountains at the Bellagio. Okay, so just like yesterday, I'm not gonna wash my face because, you know, it's kind of dry. It's pretty dry here, so. So many people kind of fear monger chemical sunscreens to people with deeper skin tones, like, and tell them that they should be using mineral sunscreens and to look for a mineral, a tinted mineral sunscreen to camouflage the white cast. So the tinted mineral sunscreens are in fact a great option for people who have a deeper skin tone because the iron oxides part of it can help protect against that blue light. It's gonna lead to hyperpigmentation and melasma, issues that are of concern for people who have deeper skin tones. However, this product by La Roche-Posay also offers long wave UVA protection, which is a part of UV that isn't always covered particularly well by most sunscreens. And long wave UVA is another player in that hyperpigmentation game. So this would actually be a good option for people with deeper skin tones looking to protect and or fade discoloration, dark marks, as would be the uh, Ben Intense Protect with um, Triazorb because Triazorb is a filter that actually does protect against blue light. Anyways, all that to say, chemical sunscreens can be a really good choice for deeper skin tones because they don't leave a cast. In the case of these from Europe, the La Roche-Posay ones, maybe a Ben one, with Uvimune and Trizorb, they offer some unique, they offer ingredients that protect against uh, parts of the sun that uniquely, I wouldn't say uniquely, but you know, that's what skin of color is predominantly going to be affected by. Um, UVB, yes. UVB is what the SPF number was kind of telling you. That's the burning rays and, you know, to a certain extent, everyone's skin is affected by those, but UVB affects, you know, paler skin tones more, burns, um, whereas UVA, it affects all of us and the visible light thing is really a, you know, an issue when it comes to treating melasma and discoloration. All right, I'm gonna head on down and get brunch, uh, and we'll see where the day goes. All right, great. Okay, I came to Terrace Point Cafe. This is the drink menu. They have mocktails, woohoo. They have a vegan s'more shake. That looks delicious, which hopefully will be here soon. But I think I might get that. I don't know, so many options. Here's a view over the pool. All right, my food came. I got a frittata made with the just egg, so it's vegan. Uh, came with potatoes, and then I also got a salad that has peas, corn, green beans, tomato, brought some bread, and of course coffee. So I've never had just egg. This will be a first for me, but yeah, I figured I would give it a go. 
if you're going to do it anyway, that would be Looks like it has mushrooms, broccoli, tomato, possibly spinach. I can't quite tell. Looks like an egg. Tastes like an egg. The just egg is made out of mung beans. Um, so it really does reproduce the texture of eggs nicely. Well, I highly recommend Terrace Point Cafe. Plenty of vegan options there. One thing I love here is that they have these misters everywhere you can stand under. Like over by the ballet they have that. Here's a view of the pool at the Wynn. They have a cabana. Looks like they have floating umbrellas. Am I seeing that correctly? Yeah, that's cool. Like you can you can have your drinks and stuff on that little float. They also have chess here. You can play. This is something I want to learn. I've always wanted to learn how to play chess. Like <clears throat> back home, I even looked into taking lessons and they have this like chess academy in Houston, but it's all like little kids. I know you can go online and do it, but I kind of want to do it in person, like have somebody show me how to do, how to play. I think that would, I don't know, I think I would enjoy that. Came back to the room because I forgot my sunglasses and there's no way I'm going out there without sunglasses plus I changed to a low bun because my hat doesn't really go with the high buns so, yeah I definitely don't want to walk out there without without some shieldage look at the temperature you guys 111 degrees wow the orb I love this thing <laughs> to try out Craig's Vegan. Sunset and Strawberry sounds good. It looks like these are all maybe cashew based, cashew based. They have vanilla, pistachio, better than birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Kristen's PB Crunch, SoCal Salted Caramel. Even have alcoholic shakes. Whoa, look at that. Easy. I got the cold brew with uh, whip topping. Is it Audrey approved? Not bad. Definitely a good coffee taste. Some of y'all love malls, so we're in a mall here. I think it's called Fashion, Fashion Island. <laughs> I love Alex and Ani bracelets. Now, I detest the poop emoji, but I'm loving the little hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil monkeys. 
Those are adorable. Meets heart sculpt sculpture out here by the mall. Ooh, check out those stairs. I'm back and guess what time it is pool time <laughs> one last time I like to go around now 6 30 because the pool closes at 7 but I wanted to update you guys on that ice cream it was not very good I mean it wasn't bad it was good I enjoyed it but in comparison to the ice cream at crossroads it wasn't really that great it had ice chunks in it and it was kind of, it was super grainy. So yeah, I don't know, maybe it was a flavor that I got, but I tried the caramel flavor, caramel, caramel. I go back I go back and forth on how that's pronounced as a side note. Anyways, I sampled that flavor and I didn't think it was very, you know, true to caramel flavor, what I was wanting. So I skipped it and went with coffee because coffee is always a good option. But um, yeah, very grainy and had actual pretty big ice chunks in it. Like they needed to blend it a little bit more. And as a side note, while I had reservations at Crossroads, which you saw in yesterday's video, and it was like a sit down and everything, I noticed today when I went back uh, to that hotel that uh, they have like a little area off the side where it's more casual, go up to the counter and get something and they had some seating. So definitely do that if you're in a hurry and you didn't make reservations because they had a lot of the options. Like I think they had the brownie sundae as a take, you know, as a, as a go up to the counter I'm and order. Impressed now. I have managed to wear everything that I brought this trip. I haven't really longed for any other additional clothing either. Speaking of wearing all of my clothing, I just changed to go to dinner and we're going to a show tonight, so get excited. Um, these are just some little satiny shorts from the Targe, a new day and a black tank top. And I'm going flip flops. And my toenail polish has held up well, except this one, this one toe sacrificed it, but from a distance, the toes are orange. So I'm going to dinner at Sushi Samba. So I thought it was only appropriate, given that it's me, to get the Amazonia roll. All right, first of all, we have the field green salad with carrot ginger dressing. All right, these are the vegan sushi. It looks like cucumber, avocado, mushroom. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like root vegetables. This is the Amazonian roll and then the netto roll. All right, we're here in the Mirage to find the theater. I don't think I, have I ever been in here? Probably. It's like all Oasis themed. show but the Beatles show is really good I sang the entire time
cosas cambiaron una situación cabrón suéltame para siempre no mires atrás Es difícil disimular lo que pasa por mi mente cuando te tengo de frente. Yeah. Esas ganas de tocar ese cuerpo lentamente, divertirnos malamente con tu piel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Canción. Baila conmigo y tú no bailas con cualquiera. cualquiera. Hagamos de la fiesta nuestro día en primavera. Right. No estamos para acordarnos de tantos malos momentos. Estamos para disfrutar y vivir una nueva era. La más loca, la que más se atreve. La envidia de todas las mujeres. Está soltera y también como lo mueve. Esa cosa sí que tiene poderes. Mami, tiene lo que ninguna chica tiene. Tanto well, guys, it's the last night in the big comfy bed. And then back to... You. Houston tomorrow, home sweet home. I have had a fantastic trip. So I didn't I didn't touch base with you guys after sushi samba, but the nutto roll was delicious. And then the I forget what it was called. Oh, the Amazonia roll was delicious. It was wrapped with collard instead of nori. So I like that. I guess the concept of the restaurant was like a hybrid between Japanese and Brazilian food. What I had was really good. I also got a salad that was delicious. Um, so yeah, that was really good. And then the show, I really enjoyed. I sang the entire time. But let me know in the comments if you like the Beatles. If you do, you definitely would enjoy this show. Um, Cirque du Soleil always, I've seen a lot of their shows over the years. Um, and they're always entertaining. If you are a Beatles fan, isn't it kind of interesting their timeline of how their songs kind of, I don't know, evolved over the years? Like, how do you go from I Want to Hold Your Hand all the way to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? You can see how they started dabbling in psychedelics. They had to be on some kind of drugs to write that. I mean, that was a good song. I love... Um, Eleanor Rigby. That's a great song. It's one of my favorites. And I love Yesterday. That's a beautiful song. Um, Let It Be is, is a good one. Hey Jude is a good one. I mean, they're all good, even the really trippy ones. <sighs> oh, yeah, the acrobatics and everything was pretty impressive. So I captured this part too. I was sitting up close and they had this one part where this sheet came out over you and you could reach up and touch it. That was kind of cool. So we did that and then I got the footage of the Bellagio fountains for you guys, which I'm gonna have to put royalty free music over that too. But in case you were wondering, it was to um, the Moulin Rouge song. I've always found that the fountains kind of look like legs. I don't know. They kind of look like legs to me, the streams, like legs kicking back and forth. Your song, yeah, that's the, that's the song that it was. Nothing is real, there's nothing to get hung about, strawberry fields forever. Anyways, you guys, I need to get some rest. I'm kind of wired <laughs> um, because I need to get up finish packing and head to the airport. I have a shuttle coming to pick me up at 8.15. And my flight is at like, I think 10.30. Um, so, and I'm all checked in on my flight. So that should be good to go. But I will see you in the morning. So the vlog. 
Well guys, I'm up, I'm dressed, I'm packed, and I'm ready to go down and take the shuttle to the airport. It was a great trip, and this room, I'm sad to leave. I'm sad to leave the pool, but I'm happy oh, to go. I made it to the airport. I'm about to board onto my plane. There it is. But, oh man, it took me forever to get through security because there was this man who had a CeraVe hold up. This man had a full size CeraVe face wash in his carry on bag. And of course, they noticed it on the x ray scanning machine and they pulled it aside and pulled it out. And they were like, Sir, you can't take this through security. You either have to mail it to yourself or check in a bag with it in. You can't, you can't, you can't carry it on. He was like arguing with them. It held the whole thing up. And he was like arguing with the woman, like, why? And it's like, okay, first of all, it's 2022. If you don't know that you can't take a full size bottle of CeraVe through security, you need to do your research. <laughs> you need to check the website before getting on a plane. Anyways, and then don't argue with the people. That was bad enough. But I felt so bad for this man. He had, first of all, he had a little baby in a stroller. And they were already, close to being late for their flight. And this was just holding it up. And of course the man with the baby who was late had infant formula or baby formula in his carry-on, which they insisted on scanning, because you know, could be cocaine, I guess. <laughs> um, anyways, I felt bad for him, but that ended up taking a long time just because the guy was like so argumentative. And it's like, do you not realize that you are holding everybody up and keeping them from making it to their flight on time just because you're like that attached to CeraVe cleanser? I could see if it was like an heirloom, like heirloom perfume. I don't know what kind of liquid they would be trying to confiscate that is that meaningful to you. But come on, like CeraVe cleanser, I know times are rough, but like, <laughs> oh man. Anyways. I got a good boarding spot. I'm B, B5. Southwest, you know, they have that race for the check-in. Like, you have to check in. If you check, the sooner you check in on Southwest, the better seat position you get, which is key for making sure you have enough overhead room for your carry-on so you don't have to check a bag. But Southwest checks the bags for free. You get two free check bags on Southwest. I always fly Southwest whenever I can because I've always been happy with them. I mean, as happy as you can be with an airline, right? <laughs> laundry done and I went for a run and just got out of the shower I didn't film all that but yeah I made it back safely had a fantastic time uh, on the plane I decided to watch Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar it was not worth paying for but if it's free and you don't have anything else going on check it out it was it was funny ish you know it made me laugh it made me giggle it was corny a little over the top, but it kind of was that that style of humor like Austin Powers. You have to be in the right mood for it. Kristen Wiig is always really funny and she, she does a good job playing like different characters. And in this movie, she played two characters, like the main, one of the main women, and then she played the villain. I love watching movies. I feel like it's the perfect escape. And the blend of movie plus plane is one of the best parts of traveling on an airplane is I love I love flying. I love it so much because I just feel the sense of like peace flying through the air. Like, I don't know. I know a lot of people are terrified of flying, but I'm like the opposite. I would much rather fly than drive for sure. Um, I don't know. I just put a lot of trust into the pilot and the aircraft. 
Whereas when you're driving, you have to deal with other drivers being negligent. I just find it more stressful. Anyways, I love flying. I love the idea of being up there in the clouds. Nobody can really pester you. Um, and then I have told you guys this before. I really love watching movies. I find it just the perfect way to zen out. And I'm one of those people where I love watching movies so much that I will even watch a movie that doesn't even look that good just because I find it very relaxing. So that's the perfect blend. But I hope you guys had fun with me on this vlog trip weekend for you all when you're watching it. It should be the weekend. Um, I know I got a lot of footage because I was importing it into my computer. And I was like, wow. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is probably on the longer side, which I... I get feedback from you guys that you like long vlogs, especially if there's like traveling involved. So I like sharing and I hope you all enjoyed this one. But man, those of you who live in Las Vegas, I have entertained the idea from time to time of like what it would be like to live in Las Vegas. But I love Texas so much that I'm like, nah, I don't think so. And I love, I prefer heat, hot weather to cold weather. So that I like, but 111, that's insane. And as much as I complain about the humidity, especially right now, as a matter of fact, I just opened my door and it felt like I could cut the air with like a dull knife. It was very, very humid out there. As much as I complain about the hum humidity, I prefer it to the dryness because I feel like, yes, there's certain times where the humidity is super intense here, but it actually seems to benefit my hair and my skin. I just find that they're a lot more I don't know, my skin looks better and my hair is a lot more manageable when there's humidity. I mean, it, sometimes it does its own thing, but overall, it looks healthier when there's humidity um, for me. But yeah, all that to say, there's something about Las Vegas that I don't know. I, I've never really spent any time, I've never spent any time outside of the Strip area. I've pretty much just gone there for conferences, which are always hosted at one of those major hotels on the Strip. So I don't really know anything about life in Las Vegas, but um, I, I don't know. I love, as I have told you guys before, I love that movie, Leaving Las Vegas with um, Nicolas Cage. That is a good one. Um, so yeah, and something about wandering down the strip and the lights and everything, I don't know. You just think about all the movies that are filmed there. It's, a, it's like a whole, I don't know. It's something about the fact that when you go there, there are all walks of life it, crammed together in this little area. They're basically either for you know pleasure or to gamble or to, you know to celebrate or for business for convention or whatever. But nobody really lives on the strip, so it's just kind of an interesting dynamic of people from all over the world, all walks of life, packed in this bright, brightly lit area. I'm sure if you live there, you don't enjoy it. But honestly, every time I travel there, I always strike up a conversation with people who live there and they do go to the restaurants. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't go to the restaurants. There's so many restaurants there that are like top tier that if I lived there, I would be, you know, hitting those up a lot more regularly. Um, plus they have really good shopping. Yeah, if I lived there, I think I would go a lot more, although the tourists and the whatnot would probably get on my nerves. Plus the, I don't know, the pools. Comment below, if you live in Las Vegas, do you ever go there to entertain yourself? I've always, I've always kind of liked the idea of Las Vegas because of the heat, you know, I, love, I, I actually like being hot. I like hot temperatures. Um, so yeah, all that to say though, I don't plan on leaving Texas anytime soon. So don't think that's gonna happen, but. Um, yeah, I have always found there's something kind of, I don't know, mystical about Las Vegas that I've always entertained. And this, this trip has me romanticizing it. So <laughs> I need to rein in the fact that if I lived there, I would not be living in this suite with my own massage room. My goodness, how <laughs> I was not expecting that. Anyways, you guys, I'm wrapping it up here. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday when you're watching this, getting ready for the week. Don't get the Sunday scaries. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.